is also my heart for all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding, enkindle my affections, that I may be able, worthily, attentively, and devoutly to recite these offices. They may be meet to be heard in the presence of thy divine majesty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. O Lord, in union with that divine intention with which thou thyself on earth did render praise to God, I offer to thee these hours. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. confounded through me, O Lord God of Israel. Nausea of thine house hath even eaten me, and the rebukes of them that rebuke Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that wish me evil. Haste thee, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confused. 
confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that wish me ill. Let them for their reward be soon brought to shame that cry over me bear them. But let all those that seek thee be joyful and glad in thee. And let all such as delight in thy salvation say alway, the Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor and in misery. Haste thee unto me, O God. Thou art my helper and my redeemer. O Lord, make no long tarry. Let them be turned backward and brought to confusion that wish me Deliver me. But rid me and deliver me in thy righteousness. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my stronghold, whereunto I may always resort. Thou hast promised to help me, for thou art my house of defense and my castle. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the ungodly, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou, O oh Lord God, art the thing that I long for. Thou art my hope, even from my youth. Through thee have I been holding up ever since I was born. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of thee. I am become, as it were, a monster unto many. But my sure trust is in thee. For oh, let my mouth be filled with thy praise, that I may sing of thy glory and honor all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth me. For mine enemies speak against me. And they that lay wait for my soul take their counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute him, and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Go not far from me, O God. My God, haste thee to help me. Let them be confounded and perish that are against my soul. Let them be covered with shame and dishonor that seek to do me evil. Deliver me, O my God, out of the Turn it backward and put to confusion that wish me evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as 
we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The beginning of the lamentation of Jeremiah the prophet. Aleph. How doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? How is she become as a widow? she that was great among the nations, and princess among the provinces, how is she become tributary? Beth. She weepeth sore in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she hath none to comfort her. All her friends have dwelt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Activity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwelleth among the heathen, she findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. Dala. The ways of Sion do mourn, because none come to the solemn feasts. All her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Hey. Her adversaries are the chief, her enemies prosper. For the Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. Upon the Mount of Olives, he prayed to the Father, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Baru. And from the daughter of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princes are become like hearts that find no pasture. And they 
may our God without strength be for the pursuer. Zion, Jerusalem, remember it in the days of her affliction and of her miseries, all her pleasant things that she had in the days of old. When her people fell into the hand of the enemy, and none did help her, the adversary saw her, and did mock at her sabbaths. Jerusalem hath grievously sinned, therefore she is removed. All that honor and her despise her, because they have seen her nakedness. Yea, she sigheth and turneth backward. Her filthiness is in her skirts, she remembereth not her last end. Therefore she came down wonderfully, she had no comforter. O Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy hath magnified himself. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry here and watch with me. Now shall ye behold a multitude which will come about me. Ye will flee and forsake me, and I shall go hence to be offered for you. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Ye will flee and forsake me, and I shall go hence to be offered for you. Sari has spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things. For she has seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. Kaf. All her they seek bread. They have given the pleasant things for meat to relieve the soul. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am become Behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow, which is done unto me. Wherewith the Lord hath afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. Sent fire into my bones, and 
it prevaileth against them. He hath spread a net for my feet, he hath turned me back. He hath made me desolate and faint all the day long. Noon. The yoke of my transgressions is bound by his hand. They are wreathed and come up upon my soul. He hath made my strength to fall. The Lord hath delivered me into their hands, from whom I am not able to rise up. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord my God. seen him, and all he hath not fallen nor comeliness. There is no beauty in him that we should desire him. He hath borne our sins and offences, and for us he grieveth. But he was wounded for our transgressions. And with his stripes we are healed. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And with his stripes we are healed. Behold, we have seen him, and long he hath hoped for more comely. There is no beauty in him that we should desire him. He hath borne our sins and offences, and for us he grieveth. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and with his stripes we are healed. He shall deliver the poor when he crieth, the needy also, and him that hath no Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. Then shall he judge thy people according unto right, and defend the poor. The mountains also shall bring peace, and the little hills righteousness unto the people. He shall keep the simple folk by their right, defend the children of the poor, and punish the wrongdoer. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure. 
from one generation to another. He shall come down like the rain into a fleece of wool, even as the drops that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish, yea, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endure. His dominion shall be also from one sea to the other. His enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarsus and of the isles shall give presents. The kings of Arabia and Saba shall bring gifts. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. He shall deliver the poor when he crieth. The needy also, and him that hath no Destroy every enemy. 
which hath done evil in thy sanctuary. Thine adversaries roar in the midst of thy congregations, and set up their banners for token. He that hewed timber afore out of the thick trees was known to bring it to an excellent work. But now they break down all the carved work thereof with axes and hammers. They have set fire upon thy holy places and have defiled the dwelling place of thy name even unto the ground. Yea, they said in their hearts, Let us make havoc of them all together. Thus have they burnt up all the houses of God in the land. From the treatise of St. Augustine, the Bishop on the Psalms. Hear my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my petition. Take heed unto me, and hear me. These are the words of one disquieted in trouble and anxiety. He prays under much suffering, desiring to be released from evil. Let us now see under what evil, evil he lies. And when he begins to speak, let us place ourselves by him, that, sharing his tribulation, we may also join in his prayer. I mourn, saith he, in my prayer, and am vexed. When does he mourn? When is he vexed? He says, in my prayer. He speaks of the evil men whom he suffers, and that sufferance of evil men he calls his complaint. Think not that the evil are in the world to no avail, or that God makes no use of them. Every wicked man lives, either that he may be corrected himself, or that the righteous may be exercised by him. Mine own familiar friend hath betrayed me by the sign of a kiss, whomsoever I shall kiss. 
Barabbas, that same is he, hold him fast. He gave this wicked signal, and so by a kiss accomplished murder. Unhappy, he cast down the price of blood in the temple, and departed, and went and hanged himself. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Unhappy, he cast down the price of blood in the temple, and departed, and went and hanged himself. Would that they who now try us were converted, and try it with us. Yet, though they continue to try us, let us not hate them, for we know not whether any of them will continue to the end in his evil ways. And mostly, when thou thinkest thyself to be hating thine enemy, thou hatest thy brother, and knowest it not. The devil and his angels are shown to us in Scripture as doomed to eter eternal fire. Their amendment alone is hopeless, against whom we wage a secret strife, for which strife the apostle arms us, saying, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That is, not against men whom we see, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Lest that by saying, the world ye think should perhaps that devils are rulers of heaven and earth, he says, of the darkness of this world. He says, of the world, that is, the lovers of the world. Of the world, that is, the impious and wicked. Of the world, that is, of which the gospel saith, and the world which knew him not. Judas, most evil trafficker, sought to betray the Lord with a kiss. He, as an innocent lamb, refused not the kiss of Judas. For thirty pieces of silver he betrayed Christ to the Jews. Better were it for that man if he had not been born. For thirty pieces of silver he betrayed Christ to the Jews. For I have spied on righteousness and strife in the city. See the glory of the cross itself. Now on the brow of kings is placed that cross, which enemies did deride. Effect hath proved strength. He hath subdued the world, not with steel, but with wood. The wood of the cross seemed a worthy object of scorn to his enemies, and standing before that wood, they wagged their heads, saying, If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. He stretched forth his hands to an unbelieving and gainsaying people. If he is just who lives by faith, he is unrighteous who has not faith. Therefore, when he saith unrighteousness, understand that it is unbelief. 
The Lord then saw unrighteousness and strife in the city, and stretched out his hands to an unbelieving and gainsaying people. And yet, waiting for them, he saith, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. One of my disciples shall this day betray me. Go unto that man by whom I am betrayed. Better were it for that man if he had not been born. He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish the same shall betray me into the hands of sinners. Better were it for that man if he had not been born. One of my disciples shall this day betray me. Woe unto that man by whom I am betrayed. Better were it for that man if he had not been born. I said unto the fools, Speak not with a stiff neck. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Yea, unto thee do we give thanks. Thy name also is so high. And that to thy wondrous works declare. When I receive the congregation, I shall judge according unto right. The earth is weak, and all the inhabitants thereof. I bear up the pillars of it. I said unto the fools, deal not so madly, and to the ungodly, set not up your horn. Set not up your horn on high, and speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, nor yet from the south. And why God is the judge, he putteth down one and setteth up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full mixed and he poureth out of the same. As for the dregs thereof, all the ungodly of the earth shall drink them and suck them out. But I will talk of the God of Jacob and praise him forever. All the horns of the ungodly also will I break. And the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. I said unto the fools, Speak not with a stiff neck. The earth Oh. 
God known. His name is great in Israel. At Salem is his tabernacle, and his dwelling in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword, and the battle. Thou art of more honor and might than the hills of the robbers. The proud are robbed, they have slept their sleep. And all the men whose hands were mighty have found nothing. At thy rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and horse are fallen. Thou, even thou, art to be feared. And who may stand in thy sight when thou art angry? Thou didst cause thy judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth trembled and was still. When God arose to judgment, and to help all the meek upon earth, the fierceness of man shall turn to thy praise, and the fierceness of them shalt thou refrain. Promise unto the Lord your God, and keep it, all ye that are round about him. Bring presents unto him that are to be feared. He shall refrain the spirit of princes, and is wonderful among the kings of the earth. The earth trembled and was still when God arose to judgment. In the time of Seized not in the night season, my soul refused had comfort. When I am in heaviness, I will think upon God. When my heart is vexed, I will complain. Thou holdest mine eyes waking. I am so feeble that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, and the years that are past. I call to remembrance my song, and in the night I commune with mine own heart, and search out my spirits. Will the Lord absent himself forever? And will he be no more entreated? Is his mercy clean gone <coughs> forever? And is his promise come utterly to an end forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? And will he shut up his loving kindness in displeasure? And I said, it is mine own infirmity. But I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most Highest. I will remember the works of the Lord. And call to mind my wonders of all time. I will think also of all thy works. And my talking shall be of thy doings. In the time of my trouble, I sought the Lord. Arise, O God, maintain.
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. From the first epistle of blessed Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when ye come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When ye come together therefore into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, every one taketh before other his own supper. And one is hungry, and another drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Behold, I was like an innocent lamb. I was led to the sacrifice, and I knew it not, that mine enemies took counsel together against me, saying, Come, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living. All mine enemies imagined this evil against me, an unjust sentence they delivered against me, saying, Come, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver it unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, Ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore 
are sleepy. What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? Ye that exhorted each other to die for me. Or see ye not Judas, how he sleepeth not, but hasteneth to betray me to the Jews? Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Or see ye not Judas, how he sleepeth not, but hasteneth to betray me to the Jews. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. The elders of the people consulted together that they might take Jesus by subtlety and kill him. They came out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take him. The chief priests and the Pharisees gathered at a council, that they might take Jesus by subtlety and kill him. They came out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take him. The elders of the people consulted together that they might take Jesus by subtlety and kill him. They came out as against a thief with swords and saves for to take him.
According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and clear when that thou art judged. Behold, I was shapen in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But lo, thou requirest truth in the inward parts, and shalt make me to understand wisdom secretly. Thou shalt purge me with his up, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear of joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sins, and put out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Mayest thou be justified,
for he flattereth himself in his own sight until his abominable sin be found out. The words of his mouth are unrighteousness and full of deceit. He hath left off to behave himself wisely and to do good. He imagineth mischief upon his bed and hath set himself in no good way. Neither doth he abhor anything that is evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, reacheth unto the heavens, and thy faithfulness unto the clouds. Thy righteousness standeth like the strong mountains. Thy judgments are like the great deep. The Lord shall save both man and beast, how excellent is thy mercy, O God! And the children of men shall put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. My heart within me is broken. All my bones shake. Thou hast encouraged us in my power, O Lord, and in thy holy affection. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath my glorious the horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Thou hast encouraged us in my power, O Lord, and in my holy affection. was together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth those that are broken in heart, and giveth medicine to heal their sickness. He telleth the number of the stars, and calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his power. Yea, and his wisdom is infinite. The Lord setteth up the meek, and bringeth the ungodly down to the ground. He was made an offering, because he himself desired it. And himself bear sins. My own familiar friend, whom I trusted, who also did eat of my bread 
us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. After thy great goodness, according to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying and clear when thou art judged. Behold, I was shapen in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But lo, thou requirest truth in the inward parts, and shalt make me to understand wisdom secretly. Thou shalt purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear of joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sins, and put out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O oh, give me the comfort of thy help again, and establish me with thy free spirit. Then shall I teach thy ways unto the wicked, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou that art the God of my health, and my tongue shall sing of thy righteousness. Thou shalt open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall show thy praise. For thou desirest no sacrifice, else would I give it thee, but thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou shalt not, not despise. O be favorable and gracious unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem, then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall offer young bullocks upon thine altar. Almighty God, we beseech thee graciously to behold this thy family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was contented to be betrayed and given up into the hands of wicked men and to suffer death upon the cross. <laughs> 